In this video, you're going to learn how to play multiplication four in a row. You'll need the multiplication four in a row sheet. You'll need some counters. I'm just using colored pieces of paper. You can use cereal, you can use paper clips, you can use whatever kind of counter you have at your house. And you're gonna need either two paper clips or I'm using two tiny erasers um, to place across the bottom of the board. Player number one puts their two paper clips, or in this case, I'm using erasers, on any two numbers below the big square. You're then going to multiply those two factors and cover one square on the board that contains the product of those two factors. Say the multiplication fact as you solve it. In my example here, I chose the factors two and five. 2 times 5 is equal to 10, so I covered 10 on the big multiplication 4 in a row board with my turquoise piece of paper. Now it's player 2's turn. Player 2 can move one of the paper clips, or in my case I used erasers, to a different number. Then player 2 should multiply the two factors and cover the product on the board with their colored counter. Since player 2 chose the factors one and two. One times two is equal to two. So player two covered the number two or the product two on the board with their yellow counter. Remember, you can only move one paper clip, or in my case, erasers, each turn. Both paper clips or erasers can be on the same number at the same time though. You're going to keep taking turns, moving one paper clip and multiplying the factors. Think carefully about the next product you want to cover. Your goal is to be the first player to have four counters in a row, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. You can carefully and strategically choose the factors so that you can block your opponent too. Have fun playing with a partner who is going to win multiplication four in a row.